In this lesson, we're going to do features of a circle. There are so many features of a circle. And even at the end of this, we'll probably have more that we can do, okay? So this is less a skill sort of base, more of a, this is what a circle has and this is what a circle doesn't have as well. So just be aware of that. So learning the names is our learning goal of different parts of the circle. So you'll know that you've had success if you can identify the different parts of the circle, including diameter, circumference, radius, chord, segment, major and minor segments, sector, tangent, and arc, to name a few. Um, identify a quadrant and a Sabian circle. I think some of these things you may have seen already in the past, um, but let's get on with it. So here we have a circle, all right, and I've got the center of the circle there. I've tried to get it as close to the center as I can, all right? The diameter of a circle goes from edge to edge, all right? It goes through the center and edge to edge. So that's a diameter. So we can write diameter. So that's what a diameter is. Now, radius of a circle goes from the middle to the edge, okay? So to the middle, to the edge, and that's called radius. An important feature is that the radius is actually half of the diameter. I'll show you. If I grab this guy here, no, I don't wanna grab that. If I grab this, and what I'll do is I'll copy it and then I'll paste it. And I move it here and I move it around. Oh, when I move it around, some of the changes the side. But it should be exactly the same as half of diameter. Yeah, I changed a bit, but it is actually, that's the right length. It's actually half the diameter, but we'll talk about that afterwards, okay? So radius goes from the center to the edge and the circumference is all the way on the outside. So I'm gonna highlight this. So that's our circumference. And all I'm gonna do that, that's our circumference, is the outside. So you could almost say the perimeter of the circle is the circumference, because remember the perimeter is the outside. Okay, so it is the perimeter of this circle. So. We've learned three features. Make sure you're writing these down in your book. It's really, really important that we get this well. All right, I'm gonna look at a second circle because we've got a few more features. I didn't want that to get too busy, okay? So we've got, the first thing, cab off the rank is a chord. So I'll draw a chord, this is a chord. Essentially a chord goes from edge to edge. So diameter back here is a type of chord. Radius isn't because it didn't go to the edge. But it's a chord, it's a very specific chord that goes through the edge. Now, this is just a normal chord, all right? Now, we've got, what this chord did is that it divided it into two segments. So here is a segment. Actually, I'll highlight it. This is a segment highlighted here. And I'll highlight the second segment, this bit here, all right? going to take me a while to highlight it all. I'm just going to do this big brush strokes, okay? So we've got one segment is the purple one and one segment is the yellow one and we call the yellow one the minor segment. I want you to think why and we call the purple one the major segment, okay? I wonder why. You can obviously see one's bigger, one's littler, so the little one will be minor the bigger one will be major, all right? Now, I'm gonna draw a sector. Now, sector, I like to call a pizza slice because it's just a pizza slice. But sometimes we can have pizza slices that are really big and sometimes really small. This is just a normal one. So this is a sector. So this bit here is called a sector. So we've done segment, major and minor, sector, tangent. Tangent is a straight line that touches, just kisses the circle. All right, so that's a tangent. So I'm just gonna make a line to it. That's a tangent. It just kisses the circle, and it could be anywhere. I've just chosen to draw it there, okay? 
Now, what is arc? Arc is just a part of the circle. So I'm going to use my sector to draw the arc. So this thing here is an arc. So I'm going to use a different highlighter. So that is an arc. So I'm going to make it known. So arc. Okay. So arc is a part it's a part of the circumference. You know how we've got the circumference over here? All right. So the arc is just a part of the circumference. And you've probably heard the word arc. It goes, oh yeah, it's got a bit of an arc over there. It's because it's got what might be a little bit of a circle or a lot of a circle. It just depends on the type of arc it is. All right, so we've got tangent, we've got arc. Let's move on. Okay, look at these. We've got a quadrant and a semicircle. I'm just gonna draw them. I'm gonna try my best. Quadrant means quad, and it's actually one part of four. So it's actually a quarter of a circle. So here's a quadrant, all right? So maybe I'll move this over here so you can see it. And I'll just say quadrants over there and this Symbol means right angle. All right, it has to be a right angle. Now, a semicircle, I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to try my best as well. It will just be that. All right. And as you can see, it, it'll be half a circle. So, half a circle, and a quadrant is one quarter of circle. So quadrant means a quarter of a circle, semicircle means half a circle. Anyway, that's a few features of a circle. Peace out.